Today we're gonna to be putting AI to the ultimate test. With ChatGPT taking over the world, we're gonna challenge it to make the ultimate, smartest, and most delicious chocolate chip cookie that's been ever made. Before we get started making the best chocolate chip cookies ever, the internet is in agreement that Crumble Cookies has the best chocolate chip cookies ever. I've never tried it, so let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. Right off the bat, what I noticed from this crumble cookie is they have thick chunks of chocolate chips and a ton of it. It's super, super thick. And one key thing that I've noticed is there's flaky salt on top, which can really level up that flavor. All right, my first ever bite of a crumble chocolate chip cookie. Let's see what the hype is all about. It's like stuck to the roof of my mouth. Oh, wow. That's a little... It's heavy. Damn boy, he fit. It's heavy with the sugar. It's heavy with the chocolate. It's a lot. Like I give this like a two oh. out of five. What are your thoughts? A little salty. It's not my favorite either, uh, but I would give it like a solid three. It's not overly sweet. I like the crunch on the outside and how it's soft on the inside. Give it a four out of five. Whoa, whoa, four out of five. Wow, all right. We got a three out of five, two out of five, and a four out of five. Let's try to make it even better. Ooh. I give it a two out of five, yeah. Wow. Now let's see if the AI could do better. All right, let's check chat GPT and see what it says. I asked it to give me the best chocolate chip cookie recipe ever, and here's what it said. One cup of unsalted butter, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of packed light brown sugar, two large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You always gotta steal one. All right, now it's saying, gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, mixing until just combined. <sighs> All this mixing, dude, it's... Oh, so thick. Damn, boy, he thick! Super thick. Now we want to drop the dough by rounded tablespoons onto a prepared baking sheet. Into a 375 degree oven, we want to bake this for eight to 10 minutes. All right, it's been eight minutes. Let's see if it's ready. Ooh, oh my goodness. That looks pretty done to me. All right, the AI cookies are now done. Let's take a look and see how they compare. Okay, right off the bat, the look of it just looks super basic. Nothing special about it. It's super, super thin, which, you know, it's not a terrible thing, but didn't expect it to be this thin. And versus the crumble cookies, you can't really see the chocolate on top, really like dug in there, but they smell absolutely delicious. So let's see how they taste. Hmm. They're not horrible at all. They're actually really delicious. It's just super, super basic. It's definitely not the best chocolate chip cookie ever. Better than the crumble cookie, so I rate this a four out of five. Mm, I really like this. Pat saying that we can do this better. For me, this is a five out of five. Dude, this is so good. Definitely a lot flatter. Smells really good though. There's less chocolate chips, I feel like. It doesn't hold itself together as much, but it's good. I rate it a three out of five. I like crumbles better. These cookies were just a little basic for me, so let's ask the AI to make it even better. Okay, so this is what it says. To make this chocolate chip cookie recipe even better, you could try using a combination of different types of chocolate chips, such as semi-sweet milk and white chocolate chips. You could also add some chopped nuts, such as walnuts or pecans for added texture and flavor. Additionally, you could try using ground butter in place of regular butter for a richer, nuttier flavor. The only difference between the last cookie and this cookie is the brown butter, walnuts, and different types of chocolate chips. So that's the only thing that we're changing. This already smells and looks so much better than the last batch. When will AI be smart enough to come just mix it for me and make it for me and give me a massage at the same time? Dude, look at that. <laughs> already looks amazing. We're gonna pop these back into the oven, same temperature and time. All right, it's been eight minutes. Let's see if it's ready. That looks amazing. I already love the thickness of this and the smell is just like on another level with this one. 
All right, this is AI cookie number two. Right off the bat, looks amazing, smells amazing. I wish there was more chocolate chips on the surface of the cookie, but I could live without it. The thickness is actually a lot better than the last one. And yeah, I'm just so excited to try these. Mmm, wow, 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 dude, oh my god. This is actually really, really amazing. That brown butter, you could definitely taste the nuttiness and the caramelization of it. It's really good. I think these are gonna get a little bit better. I'm giving it a four out of five, just because, again, I wanna see more chocolate on the top. So let's see what the homies think and try a third one. All right, AI cookie number two. That's unbelievable, actually. Fantastic, this is definitely up there. I don't want to, oh, somebody's here. I'm giving it a five out of five. Well, let's see who's here. Yo, what's up? What's up, Ryan? Yo, what up? <laughs> Ryan, nice to meet you. What's up, All right, we got an impromptu visit. My friend, Ryan, come on in. What's up? Yo. All right, so this is AI Cookie. This is version number two. So go ahead, pick one and try it and let me know what you think. Bro, this is like mad good. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. I don't have any words to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is good. But I want to cuss, but I can't. But mm. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like 16 out of five. Like what? <laughs> 16 out of five. Damn, AI, hey, you out here? <laughs> mm. That's amazing. Hey, listen. Can I eat this whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no. all yours, dude. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, these are fatter this time. I like this. Ooh, the nuts in it. Mm, I like this, five out of five. All right, that was delicious and everybody loved it, but I think the AI could push it a little further, so let's see what it gives us. All right, here's what it says. To make this chocolate chip cookie recipe the best it can be, you can try a few different things. First, you could use high quality chocolate for the chocolate chips. This will give the cookie a richer, more intense chocolate flavor. You could also try mixing in finely grated high quality chocolate into the cookie dough itself for even more chocolatey flavor. Additionally, you you could try using a mix of different types of sugar, such as granulated sugar, light brown sugar, and dark brown sugar for a more complex flavor. Finally, consider adding a pinch of sea salt to the dough to enhance the flavor of the cookies. Let's try it out. And the final batch of these AI cookies, these actually look a lot better than the last batch, so I'm excited to see how they come out. <laughs> All right, the last batch is ready. Let's check it out. That is looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited for these ones. This looks incredible, look at that. All right, here it is, the final AI cookies. Right off the bat, I love all the chocolate that's on the face of the cookie. The thickness, I think it, we got it, like it's like evenly thick. I love that we have that flaky salt on top and this looks absolutely delicious. Compared to the last batch, the thickness was pretty good, but it wasn't even. And also the chocolate just didn't feel like there was enough chocolate in there. So I think the chocolate chunks might help a lot on this one. Excited to give this a try. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, <laughs> I think the AI nailed it this time. I give this five out of five. I think this is the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. <laughs> That's amazing. It's so crazy that an AI came up with this recipe and it finally nailed it. That is really impressive. I'm scared for the future now.